uh, Deion Sanders is doing whatever he can to get Norvell out and to make the move to Tallahassee within the next uh, year to year and a half. Steve, uh, give the give their your two FSU fans that are in here. Give them some update on their. Can you, so Steve, you and I talked off cast, and you didn't, you didn't bring it up on cast, which was interesting. But I want to get your 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 take on the the uh, who's your coach? Not Tiger. Is it Tiger? No. Who's your coach? Norvell. Norvell, <laughs> uh, Norvell and kind of you, you're saying that you feel like FSU's bombing this year to set up for a uh, a reunion with. Uh, Prime time is can you can you can you elaborate on that a little bit? Can you break that down for the people that hate FSU and we've got to be concerned? We got to look, guys. We got to know what's going on the other side of the pond. You know what I mean? You yeah, got to keep. I'll always know what's happening in the enemy camp. Look, there's a uh, there's some there's some talk amongst uh, some of the uh, more affiliated uh, fans of FSU. Some of the the, the folks that run uh, other websites and have had uh, some better connections than obviously I do. Um, that the reason that some of these recruits are coming back and saying that FSU hasn't contacted them or they're, they're no longer interested in FSU, however, all of a sudden Jackson State becomes relevant, is there may be a little bit of um, uh, collusion that if Norvell can't recruit well and he has a below average season, which we've gone over our schedule a couple of times on on, on this cast here, you know, six wins is probably a no more Norvell. But it seems to be that a lot of recruits that are eliminating FSU from consideration are also kind of taking a, a a slight to them as well. And then adding Jackson State in at the same time, there there's just a feeling that the reason that this is happening is that uh, Deion Sanders is doing whatever he can to get Norvell out and to make the move to Tallahassee within the next uh, year to year and a half. We'll see how it goes. Again, it's a conspiracy theory at best, but the more people who have the theory and the more people who haven't talked to one another and are starting to kind of pick up on a, a weird vibe here. Um, and this is even coming from uh, DeCallan Brooks, uh, who is the son of Derek Brooks, on the who's on the board of Regents. Everybody remembers Derek Brooks if you're an FSU fan. Uh, it's it's coming even from him. So now you're starting to wonder how how much of that talk is coming from maybe higher level than what we see in the media and what we see in articles and what we see on on even you know ESPN and things like that. A lot of a lot of back end uh, conversation and and maybe handshake agreements. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. I mean, look, Norvell's got to win. If he wins seven, eight games, it's a non-starter. What do you if want to have happen? What do, you, what do you want, Oh, Steve? my gosh. Baby, put Dion in a in a, in a in a FSU jacket. Put that guy on, that would be on dangerous. Turf. I'm you surprised it hasn't happened life. yet. 